This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, everybody. Hi. On the show today, um, Tom Gleeson, <laughs> the Taskmaster, joins us. I he was a good show. Oh, Tom. he's just so funny. I really do love Tom and, and I love this job sometimes because to speak to someone like Tom and to experience the sledging um, yeah. that he does to you in an ever so subtle it. way or not. Mm. The great thing about him is... And this is something that I think people like to speak about a lot in their lives is that is don't dish it out if you can't take it. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, he's the person definitely. that can take it if you yeah, dish it right. out. And one and of the good parts about this chat is he dishes out on a couple of uh, other oh. stations. Oh, yeah. And, and it's so accurate. Never yes. a truer word spoken, he, he Sonia really Kruger. He sums up. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking the of. The Australian television industry beautifully. Um, plus, um, have you ever dug a hole? Mm. Oh, you find someone question. that has breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jeff Parry in the line of work? I know. Tackled to the ground. So we speak to Jeff about the whole niche living mm. uh, dramas, and mm. we find out a bit of new information we didn't mm. find about Ronnie. Mm. Yeah, that was new. The owner. I'm um, a bit of an exclusive here. Yeah. Don't worry, you won't read about it in the paper. No yeah. one writes about Asha. <laughs> Well, he probably saved the exclusive for Channel 7 News. Really. Well, I think he gave it to us first. It wasn't on the news last night. Oh. I think we he ruined exclusive. his own exclusive. Yeah, sure, no one will hear about it. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Seabass as well. Oh, oh Sean, yeah. remember? Seabass. Yeah. Forgot about yeah. her, but she's great. Yeah. We love her. Nathan, Nat and Sean. This is what I came for. Yeah. yeah. Puffs, Nova 937. Keep on giving me all you got. <laughs> Five past six. Nathan, Nat and Sean. Hi. Hello, everybody. Tuesday, Sean, second day back. Oh, yeah, no, this has become real. I was just thinking, bloody, doing the sports stuff this morning. Jesus, I've got 10 weeks of this to go. And then they, the also possibly signing a multi-year contract at the end of the year. <laughs> so, so, there's, so there's no end, is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, for the foreseeable future, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. No, this it's is not coming This train. is life. And yeah. good on it. You know what? At least we're not digging ditches. That's right. That is so true. This is ditches, what you mate. do to pay for your trips to Bali. Yeah, I that's, certainly this do. This is the way you got to look at it, Sean. Oh, I do other things too in back alleyways, but that's for <laughs> a, a different day. <laughs> now you realise you don't have to but spend you don't as much in, for that. You realise you don't have to spend much in Bali now because you can stay at a cheap hotel and yeah. get all the res- of the re- re- facilities from the Padma. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. I did watch a guy uh, dig a hole the other day when I was walking Mate. the dog, I was thinking, imagine, and he was right in it. It was right up to his waist. Waking up today, because there are machines to dig holes, but mm. the people that are hand digging holes, 13, 24, 10, are mm. you hand digging a hole today? Yeah. If you're digging a hole today, and I'm not just talking about one to put a pop pipe, a little plant. No, no, no. We're is, not talking about somebody who's bearing a body. <laughs> no, no, no. Open oh, why not? Why, why not? not? You want to hear from that? That's an interesting story. How did you get there? What did you do? They'll follow it. They'll follow it if they get charged. It'll be like, it's called a story arc. help them get away with it. Sure, sure. No, so uh, so this was a plumber who was putting the pipes yeah. in before the concrete was gone down on a slab. So you got to get right down. Mm. Um, do you think and we dirty. have? Do you think a whole diggers would listen to this show? Wouldn't they? We sound like the whole diggers. Even half show. diggers. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if you're a hole digger, <laughs> if you dig, digger of holes. If you are digging a hole today, guaranteed, give us a call. <laughs> That it's the small podcast. things that keep us amused. <laughs> it's the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Go on, Dale. Tell him. Go on, tell him. Dale dug a hole. Dale dug a hole, Nate. So we were talking about um, how in our job we don't dig a hole. We're not digging a hole today. The last no. time we dug a hole, we just remembered that. Yeah. We, we did it as a group, we think. We were doing a family thing, a uh, show called Matt and Kim to the Rescue. Matt and Kim were from The Block, yes, one of the were. early series of yep. The Block, and they were helping out families in need. Yep. And we were asked to go along. Yeah, we had, had white overalls with their names on them. They tasked us with digging a hole on an adjacent vacant lot. They wouldn't even um, let us <laughs> dig a hole on, in the ground of the property they were making yeah. over. So that was the last time oh, we dug a hole. Our boss, David McClung, is here. David, what do you ever have? You <laughs> dug a proper hole. Like, you've planted no. plants. You strike me as a guy that's out there in physical labour. No. No, that's I, just because of his rips. So no. you've never no. dug yeah. a hole bigger than, say, to put a plant in? What for? <laughs> to, like, put, I don't know. Sean, you've dug, a, you've dug a trench. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, dug a, I, di- I dug a trench and it was, I don't know, 20 metres long. A trench is a long hole. It's a long hole. How, how, it's how, deep, put, um, how yeah. deep is that? I think we had to go 600. I think that was a rule. Oh, ruling. no, 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 no that's easy. Like I know. That, that's just kicking the dirt around with your feet. Well, Danny from Mirror Book has given us a call. Hi, Danny. How you going? Hi, Danny. Danny, do you have to dig a hole today? Yeah, I've been doing it for the last couple of days, actually. Why? Um, so I'm working in the city, um, and there's a lot of services in the city. Yep. So we 
trenching to put power and new power and comms of that in, and there's high pressure gas and all unknown surfaces. So, oh, gee, you don't want to go oh, through them with so a So you have to do switch. it by hand. He can't use a machine because there's so much stuff already there. Yeah. Oh my oh, god! So you dig what, everyone. Is it like have you got Good a little call. spade or like a, how big is a shovel? <laughs> a trowel. I don't know. Is there size <laughs> shovel? Yeah, shovel yeah, goes is. like a trench, seven hundred deep, five hundred wide. There we go. And how long is this trench? This long hole? Oh, there's all there's all um, different sections. So oh god. One section's about twenty meters, ten meters. <laughs> are you joking? And you're, and you're just there. Hole. How many of you are digging the hole? Oh, uh, there's a couple of us. Oh, jeez. Even I know, but you get, you actually that's get... That's proper hole digging. What about the hands on the man? Oh, oh yeah. you've yeah. got... Do you have hard skin on you your hands? Do you have shovel hands? You've got man yeah, hands. I do, yeah. He's a man, man hands. Hand. Yeah, I've got, like, I've got lady hands. <laughs> 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 that's been soaked in palm olive for 20 years. <laughs> you barely take your gloves off. That's um, one of the things. Well, you know Good what? On sometimes on we say no one works harder than us. We checked. I think we just found the yeah, guy maybe, that might work harder Danny than us. Maybe Danny works marginally harder. Hey, Danny, $150 voucher to spend at the Sterling Arms. Go on your way, mate. Thanks, mate. No worries. Get that yeah, in your buddy. Yeah, after your long your hole, hole digging. Digger. Plus, check out Grinspoon and Silver Chair tribute bands this Friday. Oh, that'd be fun. Tickets available at thesterlingarms.com.au. Spectacular effort to everybody digging a hole today. Yeah. Bravo. Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. Tell you what, it's good hole digging weather. In Twenty-seven the, and oh, sunny today. I think that's too hot for hole digging. Mm. I think hole digging weather's twenty-one. I know because we're not into summer yet. When, it, when, it it's, when it's you twenty-seven in summer, you normally go. Oh, I yeah, twenty-seven in summer, yeah. But yeah. for me, if I was to dig a hole, it'd have to be twenty-one degrees or less. Yeah, you don't want rain though. <laughs> in case Which anyone is coming needs tomorrow. What, what, what day does it get to twenty-one? Can you look forward? Eighteen and showers becoming windy. Nathan can dig a hole. Well, a shower or two and twenty-one on Saturday. No, no, no. We're gonna say day. Yeah, the ground is soft. When when it's twenty-one next time, I'll dig a hole. What were, they, what were we talking Saturday. about? Saturday. Hold you down. No, not Saturday. When we were working. Oh, okay. Has to be a working day. Yeah. No. Hey, when's the last time you, you've you dug a hole? hole? Look at I those hands. I never have. I no. never will. I think. What do you mean? I just don't think that is something I would do. You know those people that get taken out to the desert and they're going to murder them and they go dig your own grave? It's like, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end up there anyway. I'm not doing a tired. <laughs> what are you going to do if I don't do it? Murder me. Like, <laughs> I want to have the energy to be able to no, fight I, back at some stage. We don't need a result. I'm not digging a hole. Yeah, you can do dig it. the hole. <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Perth is back. Woo! Nathan, Nat and Sean's show from your suburb. Come on, everybody. Active improves the lives of people with disability in WA. You can too by supporting Action for Active Day, Friday, October 4. All right, look out, Bass and Dean. We are heading your way for our show from your suburb this Friday. Yeah, make sure you come down and join us live from Bic Reserve. That's B-I-C Reserve in Bass and Dean, home of the Black Ducks, of course, <laughs> this Friday, October 4th. 6 a.m., by the way, we're getting up early. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's going to be so much to do. Bring the kids down because, you know, it looks like yeah. you've put the event on for them for the end of their 100%. school break. What a way to see our so school say, say, holidays. So we, we organise this for you. Um, free coffee, going to be free food, heaps of things to do. It's going to be great. Um, and there's a rumour going around. I heard yesterday that um, a, a celebrity couple are going to be there. Oh, this is big. They're this bringing big. down their they're bringing down their own chairs. There's a clue, right? <laughs> right. Their own expensive I thought you said chairs. Celebrity. Um, is there someone in this room that's waiting for one of those chairs? Yeah, there is. There's a boy in here that wants one of those a boy. chairs. I want one. Um, yeah. These are the owners of the Yeti chairs. Marlene yeah. and Brian have okay. decided to. Um, he asked me about parking. So of course he did. Um, He'll do a ghost run today. He will. Marlene and Brian aren't eligible for the ten thousand dollars. And though. they're Somebody really angry. Will win <laughs> ten grand on the day just for making a donation. To Active Foundation. Yeah, How good's that? Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Win, win, win. Yep. Entertainment for the kids. Yep. Us. Us. Yes. Marlene and Brian. Yep. What more yep. do you people want? Well, they want more information about parking. <laughs> <laughs> so no, that's just we'll Marlene let you know. We'll let you know where to park, everyone. A little bit later. <laughs> Near Big <Bic> Reserve. <laughs> yeah. That's our no, best I pulled advice. up on the map because I'm confused. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. So Friday, this Friday, October 4th from 6am, we'll be there right through to the end great. of the show. Yeah. Someone will win 10k if you need a sweet now. Or you can just come and be entertained by us. And oh, remember, the, dog, and remember the, show, the show's done and dusted by like quarter past nine. Then you got your day. Yep. Yeah, you got your day. Right. You've done exactly. something already, then you got your day. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How good. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. 
being in Perth, we've all been following the niche living drama. Uh, some of these customers have been waiting four years for their homes to be built. Uh, the state tribunal stepped in for a second mm. and uh, uh, basically they were waiting to get insurance so they could get their houses mm. built and then they gave the niche li- living the okay to start building again so now they're back on waiting for them to to be building. Now, Jeff Parry has been covering this mm. and recently we saw in the news that the owner of Niche Living, Ronnie, mm. had uh, work commencing on his wife's house but no one else mm. that is a paying customer. Then we saw on the news Jeff Parry having one of the most eventful interviews. How you going, Ronnie? Remember me? Jeff Parry from Seven Years. You're kidding me, aren't you? <laughs> Three times. Three times. Three times he was tackled to the ground. Is it a gun or is it a camera? Shoot it out, man. We've done this job for 21 years. We've never been tackled to the ground while doing it. No. No. Jeff Parry from Seven Seven News News joins us now and part time wrestler. Hello, Jeff. Good morning. How are you? Jeff, Hi, Jeff. Jeff. Can I stop say, upsetting builders, Jeff? <laughs> can I can I say, Jeff? I didn't realise that I um, when I saw you, you tackled to the ground. I my immediate thought was, "Don't you hurt Jeff Parry? <laughs> You're a national treasure." <laughs> I didn't know I cared that much. <laughs> oh, I was very nice of you to say. <laughs> hey, Jeff, is um, was Ronnie coming at you with um, some kind of charges, or was it the other way around that I saw last night? Oh, he, he's made a complaint to the police. Are you talking about police charges? Yes, yes, that's it. Yeah, the, the, yeah, that's the one, yeah. <clears throat> he's, he's, taken, he's taken a complaint to the police. He went down there. That that, that whole thing happened uh, on Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Um, and uh, 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 he, uh, after that, he went to the police and made a complaint. And, and uh, he then went online that morning and said um, he he's going to press charges against myself and Christian, who, who was my cameraman. Oh. So, uh, and and um, and that he suffered personal injury. Um, so anyway, the, the police yesterday yep. confirmed that there they, there was an investigation, or that there is an investigation. I've heard nothing from them. Um, my boss has heard nothing from them, but um, just sort of see where that one and goes. You, and you do have a lot, a lot of footage that suggests that he's the aggressor. <laughs> <laughs> As, I, 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 I must I must admit I was a bit surprised um, at, the, at the claims that he's made. Given, given that I was there, and, and, given, and, given, <laughs> given, and it's given that film. The, the, yeah. the, it's on it's on camera, yeah. So, Jeff, in this circumstance, but now we've seen you do this gig for a long, long time, putting yourself uh, right in there, getting the story out there so people understand what's going on on both sides. If you, when you're getting in someone's uh, space like that, because you're trying to get an answer and trying to get a result for people at home, well, how far can you push it? Um, well, that one sort of went. That one went to sort of you know not the, not the extremes, but it was sort of at the upper limit, if you like, of of you know where where we want to be. And look, the whole point I think mm-hmm. is that this guy's running a building company yep. that has um, has caused grief, uh, un, un, sort of unbelievable grief for people, financial grief, yeah, you know, every day they, grief that they're they, facing yeah. every day. Uh, They've they've had their their banks are foreclosing oh. on their mortgages because yes. they've they've exceeded the period that you can have a mortgage for. Okay. They've got no homes. They're living in caravans. You know they've got families. They're being evicted around them. All of this sort of stuff's going on, um, and you, so you can imagine how they feel when they find out that he's you know proceeding with work <laughs> on his wife's yes. home. But not only that, we, we we showed last night there were a couple of other homes at a, 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 a not. Com- an incomplete complex over in Aurelia where mm-hmm. there are two units amongst the whole bunch of them and the only two that are getting work on are owned by um, Ronnie... Are uh, you L. joking? ...called Bitdorf. No, they, they're the, that's some tilers and traders. The tradies have been there for weeks since what? he got his building licence sure. back from the SAT. They've been they've been over there. So we, we spoke to a couple of... Yesterday we spoke to a couple of owners over there who's, who one's been waiting four years, one's been waiting four and a half yeah. years. This is when they signed up. And and they just you know they they can't believe it like everyone else. So look, that was the point. Um, that is the point. And he's mm. never he's never been forthcoming. Um, and and a couple of times I did it about six weeks ago. So we had this sort of kind of civil conversation um, as he was returning home from a restaurant uh, out in the street. This this one was this one sort of went pear shaped um, very quickly. 
Uh, but all we were trying to do was get answers on the behalf of those folks. Yeah. So there's so many people that are uh, waiting for their houses to be complete, like this th- mm. we're talking thousands, aren't we, at this point in time? Uh, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. 250. Yeah. 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 250. Okay. 250. So when you're confronting him and you've got him um, doing his wife's house or uh, and something out to others mm. that he owns, where does he start from and why isn't he starting from another position? Well, has he ever answered why he's doing that instead of his... Instead of the actual customers. Has he ever given us an answer? Yeah. Well, 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 when I spoke to him, um, uh, it was about three months ago, I think, was the first time. Yeah. We couldn't really get... His, his, look, his, his main claim then was that these people have waited so long for their houses to be finished, the price had gone up by three or $400,000, so they'd made money on a... On, on a sh- like, well, it's not all they had was a yes. shell yeah, and yeah. a piece of land. But yeah, yeah. He, he thought that was a sort of a plus because... They'd made, you know, the, wow. the, the property market had gone up, what? and they'd made a couple of hundred thousand dollars on a of, a, of an inc- on an incomplete house. So, yes, and also you know, they're paying bit... rent. They they yeah. they have yeah. other oh, expenses. Yes, yeah. crazy. Yes, indeed they, they do. They have to um, live somewhere. So, 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 so all of that, and then uh, about five weeks ago, four or five weeks ago, they had their building license, which had been taken off them by the yes. state by the mm-hmm. state government. The, the independent building registrar uh, had removed his license, so he went to the, the state administrative tribunal. And, and to be honest, I mean, the people couldn't believe it because the because the evidence was given that the company's you know owes forty four million dollars, yes. yeah. more than seven million dollars is owed to the so, tax. So can we, can we stop? Can we stop the story right? License back. Can we stop the story right there? Why? What? Have we found out why they saw fee, see, see fit to do that? Because the other option was the fact that the owners that have been waiting for four years were going to definitely get insurance. And they were really excited well, that for was, that. that. And then that's dead right. They they were they, that would have triggered if if they hadn't have got their license back that would have triggered their insurance so then they could go yeah. and get i think it's about two hundred thousand dollars um for some that would be probably not enough to finish their homes but certainly get them on the way they could yeah. start negotiating with other people and, yeah, when they got, and yeah. some of them were doing this so, so, what, so what, did, what did the tribunals then, say though so what did the tribunals say that went i'm gonna trust that he's going to do the, the right thing and make these customers wait anymore because the tribunal should stop things like this. There's no, they're meeting in November, so there's no way they're going to pass it again, obviously. Well, he goes... They, they, he then goes into... Basically, he's going into bat now to argue. So what, what they did was they said, look, all right, we understand both sides of it, but you can... And the, and the application was for a stay of, of the, the removal of the building licence. So, so he could basically keep trading and ke- or keep building because because his building license was was restored yeah, and it was going to be argued hasn't finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> and it's going to be argued in November you're right so he, he then goes into bat uh, no, but you know, everyone was pretty gobsmacked yeah because they 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 thought look this is the end of it the government thought it was the end of it um you know the people have been sort of putting up with this for years and they thought well okay here is the trigger now we can get our insurance we can negotiate yeah. with other builders that all went on hold when when uh, when the SAT made its decision, oh, yeah. so well, what's the value decision. with Nice? You can Nice's... imagine the frustration. Oh, yeah, what, dude, I, yeah, I can't see um, just from the outside. What is the value with Nice living, holding, you know, making sure that they still had their license, Ronnie still had his license to build? Given that it, it's an easy one to then go, okay, Bankrupt now, now. Yeah, yeah, and then and then everyone gets their house. Natalie, yeah, right. Natalie hit it because yeah. he has three of his wife's apartments, yeah, still got, uh, still two still apartments, and a house to do. Oh, God, I'm well, not sure. I'm sure yeah. You know, sure. that's what he's doing. No, I know, but he got his. He fought. He went to the tribe to fight for his right to build again and then instead of helping the customers that paid for his life he's instead doing his wife's mm. properties that's well, why he did it undertakings and undertaking were given to sat by his lawyers yeah that that you know let us keep our license or and 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 uh, and we will <laughs> prioritize uh the homes that we you know that we uh, are, are obliged you know we're contracted to, fit, to finish but he hasn't, mm. and and there's been no communication. There's been no. He, he, they've obviously had. It was it was a big ask anyway because when when he lost his license, he let a lot of his building supervisors go. A lot yeah, of his trades, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. A, a lot of trades don't really want to deal with the company. No, and, no of course. Um, and so so then so you know it was a case of well they were going to have to try and get the trades back. So the trades that he's got back. He's put him to work on his wife's house mm. and uh, and a couple that he owns over in Aurelia. Jeff Parry, we're going to be watching Seven News. Yes. We're going to be watching Seven News. You at the moment. We need to wrap you in bubble wrap, yeah. though. <laughs> I, 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 I think what I think what you're doing is great, Jeff. This is this is real true journalism where you are after a story and you're trying to get an outcome and for some people, out for that, people have been, have been really that have been dragged through the mud. Yeah. So good luck, Jeff. We're all going to be following this very uh, a lot. So and yeah, don't tackle Jeff. <laughs> 
The living legend that is Jeff Parry. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We're about to play a round of the locomotion where all of our questions are themed around trains. It just makes sense. Yeah, our winner will score two tickets to see Carly Minogue's Tension Tour at RAC Arena. Can it be Darren from Beachborough? Good morning, Darren. Hey, young guys. Good G'day, man. Darren. Big Darren. Carly fan, Darren. Yes, yeah, huge Carly fan. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to, I used to love her. Yeah, used to love her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heartfelt. Uh, talk to me about your experience with trains, Darren. Um, no, not that good, but hopefully you have good crack. Yeah, well, yeah. you've been on a train, though. Been. You've been on a train. Yeah. Uh, I've only been on an electric train once, mm. believe it or not. Yeah, wow. Mate, okay. Mate, mate. You yeah, wait, you ever ever waited at a level crossing? <laughs> 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 I, um, you're going against Rachel from Morley. Hi, Rach. Hi. How are Loves you, the train, Rachel, don't you? Ah. <laughs> I wouldn't say love, but... <laughs> Last time you caught a train, Rach? Uh, I used to get on the Midland line quite often. Crikey. Yeah, well, so she, she's, she's called the train. Gang colours. <laughs> she's caught the train. OK, here's what's going to happen. We're going to ask you a train-related question. Someone's phone's doing some weird yeah. glitching sound. I think Rachel. it might be yours, Rachel. Turn your radio down, Rachel. Yeah, something, yeah. It's Is like, that better? It sounds like someone's um, playing basketball with squeaky shoes. <laughs> Better now. Okay, that's good. That's so accurate. Well done. Sort of good. Oh. Uh, Darren? Good at that. Darren. Darren, hey, Darren? Are, you on, are you on hands free or something, Darren? Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, your phone's gone all dolphin y. Yeah, get off hands free, otherwise it's going to be a disadvantage to you. Oh, we had a go at Rachel. And it also then. She sounds didn't terrible. That. No, Rachel. Oh, but you always Sorry, have to Rach. check with Rachel. She's shifty. So we will ask a <laughs> trade related question. If you know the answer, buzz in with your name. You get it right, you take the point. You get it wrong, we'll give your opponent a crack at it. Yeah, whatever. Sure. First of five. <laughs> Wait, well, uh, to be honest, no. No. No, if you get it wrong, you should be ashamed. We'll move no on to the next no one question. Gets, no one gets okay, okay, all right. Fair enough. All right, here we, we go, everybody. Up, oh, let's test your buzzers. Darren? Darren. Rachel? Rachel. They're working, oh, guys. Yeah, good. First up for Carly Minogue ticket special, mm-hmm, the locomotion. Mm-hmm. What school would a student most likely attend if they were catching a train at platform nine and three quarters? Rachel. Rachel? Hogwarts? Yes, Rachel. You're on the board. You're on the board. Quick as whip, too. Uh, Rachel leads 1 0. Question number two. Which Perth Nova Breakfast host is the child of a former train driver? Rachel. 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 Nathan. Yes, Rachel. I thought that was one of the the number one things people knew about. No, I thought so. No, evidently not. Interesting. Okay, uh, Rachel, it's 2 0. Mm. Uh, Question number three. What colour is Thomas the tank engine? Rachel. 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 Blue. Yes, Rachel. Can we get a buzzer test for Darren, please, yeah, Natalie? He, he buzzed in. It yeah, was just too yeah, late. Yeah, she's quick, she's quick Darren. She's it's quick, fine. Darren. Got to be on your toes. All right, everybody, here we go. Which non-renewable fossil fuel was used to power steam trains? Rachel. Rachel. Coal. Yes, Rachel. <laughs> You're never confident on these answers, Rachel, and so far you've been no. right every time. Um, Rachel leads 4-0. And is on the brink of victory. Darren, Darren just throw your body in there. Could be the greatest comeback of all time. Here we go. Question number five. In which movie does a young boy board a train and embark on a magical journey to Rachel. the north? Rachel, for the win. The Polar Express. Yeah, no, Rachel. Rachel. Oh, 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 my God. Rachel. Rachel. Darren had to take his pants off and run huh. around the table. Oh, he was doing that anyway. <laughs> Rachel, you won two tickets to see Kylie Minogue's Tension Tour at RAC yeah. Arena. Well done. Oh, thank you. You're off to see Kylie. Well How done, cool. mate. Yay. I know. Well, catch the, out catch the train there. <laughs> yes. It's good oh, advice. I will. I yeah. probably will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have um, more tickets. Another uh, song will yep. direct our competition tomorrow for Kylie Minogue. Got a whole bunch of train questions left here. <laughs> I wonder well, if we're ever going to get the opportunity to <laughs> use them again. <laughs> I was put it in the mix. <laughs> yeah, and the competition coming soon, you'll get asked a random train <laughs> question and know where it came from. Yeah, you'll know why. <laughs> it's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. 
Podcast Master Australia continues yeah. tonight at 7.30 on Channel 10 if or 10 nev- Play as well. If you've never watched it, give it's it a go. So it is actually really funny. I, I don't think the tra- ads... Uh, Do it justice. Yeah, I it's really a cracking don't. show. And the Taskmaster, as we know, is one and only Tom Gleeson. We caught up with him this morning before the show. Hey, how are you? Oh, yeah, we're good, doing mate. great. Hey, we spoke about you this morning, right? So this is our producer, Amy. Amy, come over to the microphone yeah. and tell Tom, us what you told us about Tom. Tom knows me. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, yep. How much... I love <laughs> love your show. Not this show. Oh, <laughs> not this show. Quizmaster. Hard quiz. Hard quiz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so how do you feel about us... Um, Getting back to Taskmaster, Amy. Are you going to no, be watching this on Channel 10? Great as well. Of course it is. But, uh, like, yeah. She watches so, it with her mother in law, Jean. Yes. And she was going, and we laugh out loud. That's what she said. <laughs> Tom, she goes, we laugh out loud. Oh, that's great. I mean, that's kind of the whole aim. But I agree that <laughs> Australian TV in general is so mediocre that can come as a shock. <laughs> I'm glad you're holding up your end of the bargain then. Yeah, and yeah. like <laughs> bonding between a mother-in-law and a daughter-in-law, oh, there's oh. nothing quite and, like it, Tom. You're bringing families together. 80-year-old Jean said, oh, how he can get away with saying some really rude things. Yeah. <laughs> she's English, yeah. Tom, so she, she's, of, I mean, she's, we... can be quite offended, Tom. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Well, I mean, often people think that older people... You have to tone it down for older people, but I feel like you know some of them have been through wars. <laughs> <laughs> they can handle yeah, it. They went through the depression. They had exactly. dripping tins in their fridge. Remember we, we, had, we had one at yeah, home. Tom, this generation does. doesn't know about dripping tins. Uh, and if yeah. you're listening right now, dripping is all the fat from the different roasts and meat. And you meat, gather meat it up and, and you use it again. Yes, it'll be in a tin, and then they every time they cook, they put another layer on top of it, and then it look like sedimentary layers yes. of of and rock. You can, Spread it on it toast. It's disgusting. Mm. You, you, you'd be able to buy it from, um, you know, Woolies or Coles and chuck it in with a roast. I know, but, the, no, but having a, t- a decade old dripping tin. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that insane, Tom? That that's, what, that's, a, that's our depression, the dripping tin. <laughs> They've lived through genuine adversity, you know. Like, you know, if you've lived through the depression, you've opened up the cupboard at some point. There's been no food in there. You, you're going to say the F word. You're not going to go, flipping heck, I have no food. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Oh, darn point. it. We're starving. Absolutely. <laughs> Where does Tom Gleeson go on holidays? I'm in Byron Bay at the moment. That's oh. where I go on the holidays because I'm a... I'm a massive TV star, so I have to sure. go where all the other celebrities yes. go. Are you wearing, it's, like, it's white rule. linen pants at the moment? Yeah, yeah, I've got white linen on. It's, it's actually more of a moo-moo. It's not really a... <laughs> no shoes, of course. No shoes for yeah, Byron. No, no shoes. No, no underwear. No underwear. Yeah. Just wander around. <laughs> Taking selfies, so we don't have we don't we don't ask each other for selfies because we're all we're all you're all, you're all equally selfies in the park other. with a crystal in the head looking up at the sun spinning around. <laughs> how many how many times have you had smashed up avo on toast? Well, uh, we have it all day, like it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we actually had a giant avocado roast last night. <laughs> 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 I, say, if, I reckon I've not been to Byron Bay, yeah. but I'm pretty sure if you order anything at a cafe, it looks like it's been dragged through a park. For some reason, I don't picture you being a Bar and Bay type of local. Is that a, is that the place you go regularly, or is this like a, a first timing? Yeah, I've been going here for years and years and years. Yeah, so it's sort of like uh, I don't know how you describe it. It used to be grungy, which is what I liked about yeah, it when yeah. I used to come here like thirty Dan years Chris, ago. Chris Hemsworth ruined it, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah, but luckily, as the town has become more expensive, I've, al- I've also become more wealthy. So it all, it all lines up. So luckily. Yeah. Your, so your I'm, fortunes I'm, I'm, and Byron Bay's fortunes are tied together. They're tied together, yeah. And, and so I'm, I'm an irritating tourist. And, and, and I'm wrecking the joint by being here and I'm yes. pushing up prices so I'm, yeah. I, I'm part of the problem. Uh, <laughs> I, um, uh, I suppose we better talk about Task, Taskmaster. Um, mm. no, uh, Third season? Uh, only because, Tom, very mm. rarely, and this, we've seen a season already absolutely brilliant, and um, the second episode airs tonight, mm. but um, uh, very rarely does a show that's been taken, that I've seen from Britain, um, from, from the UK, translate. It translates well. And I think yeah. it's even better, and it's because of you, I think, uh, the way that you deal with oh, your, that's your, nice your host. To yeah, I think that's the. I mean, the format is really rock solid. Essentially, I send comedians out to do tedious tasks. They come back, they watch the, their efforts for the first time <laughs> yes. in front of the studio audience, so and funny. I put, and, they're, and they're mortified. <laughs> and I just uh, really narrow in on what they feel bad about and uh, <laughs> highlight 
any failures they've made and <laughs> it's a lot of laughter. So yeah. it's playing to the natural game. I mean, it essentially is. I get to pay it's out so good. My, my colleagues yeah. who I've known for a long time and they just have to take it and it's the best. <laughs> they can't That's have, an easy gig. They wouldn't have had to consider anybody else for this role, would no, they? No. they would have, you would have been top of the list. Yes. Oh, oh, then again, well, Grant, Grant Daniel would have been in the next. When, <laughs> yeah, when, when, when Channel 10 asked me to do it, I said, yeah, sure. And, um, and there was so kind of umming and ahhing about whether or not I do it. And I thought, well, they, they're either got their head screwed on and they'll get me to do it or they're going to yeah. get someone else to do it and, and the show no, will fail. Yeah. Yes, was, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. So what 100%. Yeah. You know. Hey, Tom, in the TV world, is there a natural alignment between the ABC and Channel 10? Because it seems like a lot of shows that you see, or Australian comedians in particular, so will go think, either think, eye, but you don't see seven. Do you or think there's an underground tunnel? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think what it, I think Channel Seven and Channel Nine are still holding on to the idea that they have network stars. <laughs> but what they haven't done is they haven't watched their own network for a while, and they they haven't realised they don't really have any stars. They've just got a lot of people who smile a lot at the camera, even though they aren't very talented. Whereas the ABC and Ten, they just don't really care. Because yes. I understand no one gives a shit anymore. <laughs> yeah. So they both leave their doors open and we just walk between the studios between 10 and ABC and no one gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not a drill when it's spoken. I mean, you really oh, summed up the Australian television industry. <laughs> so that in one anyone sentence. that's ever had anything to do with the media is yes. pissing themselves yeah. laughing right now. That I know. so funny. <laughs> so good. <laughs> um, great cast on this one. Yeah. Is it true that you filmed this series before the last one? Yeah, this was yeah. filmed... It happens in the UK too. Sometimes they play the series out of order. Yeah. They did it this time because... I don't even know who it was, but there was a car, one of the cast members had a, wasn't available to do publicity at oh, the time right. that they were wanting to release it, so they flipped it. Oh. But it doesn't really make a difference to no, me. It I mean, they're all, but it does suck for you if you're planning a face tattoo. <laughs> <same, laughs> but, <laughs> but it's kind of weird because this, this one that's on air now, we actually yeah. recorded it about a year ago. Yeah, so oh. it's, um, it's more fun for me to watch because I, ha- I can't, cannot can't remember, remember what happened. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Well, okay. so fun. well, you know what? You're making Jean laugh out loud. Yeah, that's yeah, right, that's and that's news, all that matters. So. Um, <laughs> and tonight we see... But Reece... not on this show. Just, <laughs> just put that out there. If the promo's got anything to do with it, we see uh, Reese Nicholson lose their uh, temper. A little bit of a oh, snap, no, yes? Yeah, Reese does snap a bit. Yeah. Uh, Pete was also fun, because Peter Hellier... Yeah. I was... Uh, I start needling him for his old school 90s comedy as I start to call it you know? yes. I think I was chiseling away him for a couple of episodes before he looked up and he said hang on you're the same age as me yes. <laughs> I mean you age shamed Will Anderson in the last series as well is that just the way it is you, you plonk in one one person who's roughly the same age as you and then you age shame them against all the young yeah, kids absolutely <laughs> You just keep chiseling wow. away. <laughs> well, 7.30 tonight uh, on Channel 10, Taskmaster Australia. It's the second episode of Series 3. Thank you very much thanks, for your time, Tommy. Taskmaster. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Who we work with? It's her birthday today. It is. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Callie. Yeah. Approach the microphone. Callie. You Hi. are look, just stunning. Thanks. And you're really coming Even to your Even though own. you're a year older. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm very yeah. old What now. have we hit today? Uh, 32 today. Ooh. 32, not wow. out. Yeah. I feel it. And I say, Sean and I were talking about you this morning. We were saying it's just such a pleasure to be sexually manhandled. And we're like, all right, 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 right. <laughs> Every not day. on air, Nathan. No, it's not on air. No, 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 no it's off air. You do it off air. We officially say this is the court case. We consent. <laughs> what do you think is just Class wonderful? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, sure. I just chucked out a, a question to the to the crowd mm. in there, and I want to get everyone's response to it. Was please. O- overwhelming. Yeah, because um, I was speaking about Pricey, about what her son Max is going through at the moment. Mm. Who here make a noise if you have tonsils? Yes, Hi. I do. Yes, everyone does except me. I'm yeah. the only tonsil. <laughs> and it shows, Nathan. Wow. It shows. And you're still single. Do you reckon that's what turns you gay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Harry's got it. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, hey, Harry's hey, tonsils hey. are removable with some alcohol. <laughs> He's like, cool. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Yeah. One word. One word. $5,000. Nova 937's missing word for ABC Blinds. Transform your home for less with ABC Blinds Spree Inspiration Sale. Save up to 40% off indoor blinds, shutters and sheer curtains.
This is a very good uh, rate per word. $5,000 for oh, one hey. word is what we're willing to pay, as long as it's the right word. Yeah. Let's hope so for Sophie's uh, purposes. Good morning, Sophie. Hey. Hey, Sophie. Hey, what Sophie. purposes will require money that you have personally? <laughs> Uh, $600 Ambo bill. Oh, oh no. How come, Soph? What happened? Uh, I got foot and mouth, but I didn't know, so I ended up going to the hospital. Oh. Yeah. What yeah, happened? And now, well, um, AHM doesn't cover it, so now I'm out of pocket. Oh, that hurt. Whoa. So foot and mouth, um, that's blistery Yeah, yeah what, what symptoms did you have that you required an ambulance? Uh, so I have type 1 diabetes as well, so my uh, ketones were too high. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Yeah, right. Oh, sweetheart. Wow, that's awful. Jeez. All I right, thought well, we were the only people that put uh, foot in our mouths. Like, <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes. She had foot and mouth. We have foot in mouth. Very different, very different. Let's have a listen to the sentence. <laughs> One of the random things on my TV cabinet is a... Is a what, what? Sophie? I hope it's a statue, but a I doubt statue. it. A statue. But I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> a statue. I want to talk, about, I want to talk about your answer. I want to talk about your answer right now because a statue to me mm-hmm. is something a statue that goes, that goes on a plinth in the ground, mm. um, whereas something I don't know, would be TV. on a cabinet would be a figurine, wouldn't it? Yeah, so like a figurine. When yeah. does a statue, statue become a figurine. a figurine and a figurine become a statue mm. in your eyes? Well, Harry, Harry had an idea. What do you mm. think? I was thinking maybe a statue is like fixed. A figurine is portable. Oh, interesting. If we're talking definitions. So if there was a giant statue right there, out there and it was on wheels, that would be a figurine. <laughs> oh, it's a big figurine. <laughs> <laughs> or it would just be a normal-sized statue with wheels. <laughs> Maybe. I'd sell, sell, so sell this question. When does a statue become a figurine and a figurine become a statue? Size is a factor. Oh. Regardless? Yeah. Oh, it's not that. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. But good luck with the Ambo deal. Sorry, um, Daniel's in Shoalwater. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, Dan. Great, Dan. Okay, let's hear the sentence. One of the random things on my TV cabinet is a... What is it, Daniel? Um, I had a few things going through my head, yeah. but uh, I'm just going to say like a vase. Like a vase. Okay, <laughs> it's like a vase. A vase. It's, yeah. it's vase. Okay, so Daniel, you can think of a vase. <laughs> he, he and you can't word. move it. Uh, in Nathan's sentence, he used the word random. Yeah. Was, is a vase random? No, the answer's no. Okay. No. So, yes. So, it's not, not a vase. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, these are very... I would not consider a vase random. No, I wouldn't. No. I think people... This is, you remember a random this thing is, is when Nathan... you walk in there and go, what's that there for? A yeah. random Why thing do you is, like... a, is a skateboarding capybara. Yeah, that's a random <laughs> for thing. For example. Yeah. Um, no joy there, Daniel. Yeah. Amanda from Rivervale. Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi Amanda. Amanda. Hi, Amanda. All right, let's hear the sentence again. One of the random things on my TV cabinet is a... What is it, Amanda? I'm going to guess a cube bot. Cube bot. What's a cube yes. bot? It is a Japanese uh, wooden... It, it's kind of like a, a figurine, but it's all um, connected Bolts with into a a square. Oh, OK, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I know what yeah. you mean. Well, I can yeah. tell you... That, yes, I do have a cube bot on my TV cabinet, but that's not what we're talking about. Oh, wow. wow. And Amanda. you know that because she went to my Instagram, I bet. <laughs> oh. did, you, did you, Amanda, go to Nathan's Instagram? Yeah. yeah. So since, oh, cool. since my, here's, a, here's a clue, everyone. Yes, mate. Since my Instagram post, my, my last one on my TV yeah. cabinet, yeah. it's a whole ton, a lot of more God, shit you've been in there redoing. Now. You've been uh, redoing. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been pulling stuff out of boxes and yeah. all that sort of stuff, so it's completely different. But well done, Amanda. But well done on your research. Bit, yes. And that was um, your far closer than and you just, just like a lot statue of people or vase. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. yeah. Too, right. They're too general. But, yeah. but you are you are right. If you walked in there, that would be random. Mm. That'd be random. Yeah, mm. a grown man with yes. a wooden mm. robot. Not the on answer in this occasion. The five thousand dollars remains in play. After nine o'clock, Ross will have a brand new clue for our missing word. Oh, he does that every, every day. Oh, you bought it on eBay. Sorry, ah. we forgot to mention that. Yeah, bought it on eBay. Yeah, bought it on eBay. Oh, so but that narrows it down to just about anything. Yeah. I'm so thanks to ABC Blind. Except for live human trafficking. It wasn't that. Because <laughs> you can't do that yeah. on eBay. They yeah. shut down. They shut down them really quickly, don't they, Sean? Also, that's, crazy, not, that, that's more than one You can work around so it. That's it's the, hyphenated. That's the it's only hyphenated. Other it's hyphenated. <laughs> like Michelle Geller. <laughs> Which is not hyphenated. Yeah. Oh, whatever. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. 
Hey, just incidentally, um, Harry's got some information on a statue oh, yeah. versus a figurine. figurine. We like to... about it. Yeah. Well, the definition is so, so it's loose, loose mm. but what size is the main thing they bring up? So, so, so what size thing. do we hit figurine from a statue? What, 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 <laughs> I we... don't. It's... It's well, I, so, so, okay, a meter is not a figurine, and some statue. That's an ornament, I think. <laughs> okay, so, oh, that's so, be a statue. Okay, so, it's so, be a statue. So, so, statue a so life-size statue, half my size, not a figurine. A figurine, I think, has to be probably. You have to be able to put it on a shelf. Yes, like an elf. Yes, like an elf. I think yes. a figurine in, yes. in, its, in, its, in its entity has yes. to be displayed on. Like you have to put it on a shelf or something like that. Where, where does a garden gnome sit in the world? Then of- in the garden. That's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other thing: is a statue doesn't have to be of a person. No, no. Whereas doesn't. a figurine, I think probably. No, no. You can get figurines of like um little uh, owls and all that sort of stuff. You know, crystal owl figurine. They're, they're ornaments. They're ornaments. That'd though, be an ornament. No, That's I, 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 ornament. Think I think they're a figurine and an ornament. <laughs> oh, we got our boss in here. He'd have David. an idea. He's smarter he's than all of us. You don't get to the top of the ring. Quickly, thirteen twenty four ten. If anybody works in the world of figurines. And statues, or you just sell them, like if you look at things. <laughs> like, if anyone, oh, don't at figurine I'm world. Try to get to the bottom of this, Amy. Um, yeah, if anyone, if anyone knows or has an idea about this, give us a well, call. Thirteen twenty four. No, no one's going to call because no one cares. Uh, you, people are calling actually. <laughs> people really care about their big issues. And also, we're going to give somebody a double uh, pass to Pride Fest uh, pleasure pass. There you go, David. You'd want that. <laughs> David, <laughs> 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 You'll take tote by doing for yourself. <laughs> Celebrate Perth Pride Face to Pride Fest 2024 with over 100 events to enjoy. Tickets at pridewa.com.au. All right, 13, 24, 10. If you can tell us for certain the difference between a statue and a figurine. Yeah, okay. What about a statuette? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We asked the uh, riveting question, what's the difference between a statue and a figurine? Because we were... Flummox. Well, we don't know. Perplexed. Like you know, there was all things. Is, God, is, is a figurine? Good, but... If it's a figurine, is it movable? Yeah. Is it because of the size? Yeah, yes. because you can put it on a shelf. We don't know. Is it what it's made out of? I tell you what. I recently went into things, and I thought people like people that work in things and stuff they would, would know. Would know. Um, and stuff. There would be someone that would know the difference between a, a statue and a figurine. We, we have a call. Hello, caller. Hello. I um, would put his name up. Hello. Who's this? Oh God. It's... It's David, your boss. Now, remember how I said no one cares at all the difference? <laughs> yes. Guess how many calls we had. Guess how many? We had none. Not a single phone call. <laughs> so, what is, is, this, is this rated as a success? No, or? no, 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 no. no. no so, what, what you're saying is you were right, so what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, and I get the tickets to Pride Fest. Oh, Thank you. Right. <laughs> so what, what's happened is he's cut the phone line. Yes, yeah. that's what he's done. He wants because the tickets. Why didn't you just say you wanted the tickets <laughs> to Pride Fest? Of course you're going to go to Pride Fest. Celebrate Pride Fest 2024 with over 100 events to enjoi. Tickets to pridewa.com.au. David, they're all yours. David will be there. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Love the show. <laughs> Thanks for sure. well, that's a lie. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, well, we're never going to find out the answer. This is disappointing. Oh, you know what? If we had the opportunity to solve a problem today in the world and mm. no one took it. And David wouldn't let us. Can I say that we started our show by um, asking if anyone was digging a hole today and we <laughs> ended it by talking about the difference between figurines and statues. No wonder we're the place to go for entertainment information. <laughs> and just for everybody out there too, a big boss from Sydney's in town yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. this is the so stuff we're dishing up to. This, this is us trying. This is Pretty us trying. He's going, going these guys on. are muppets. We've got to get rid of them. Hey, tomorrow on the show, uh, Ursula Carlson's going to join us. Yeah, that's okay, always fun. a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. the missing word will be back again. There's five thousand yeah, dollars on the line, and of course, um, a Kylie Minogue tickets all week, and Katy Perry tickets. Yes, so I know, Kylie give, Minogue, the competition will change. Uh, we've yes. done so far, especially for you, for you. That was duets. We did today the locomotion, which were train questions. What could it be tomorrow? Well, I tell you what, it seems to be. The history suggests we're going to get one woman that knows a lot and one guy that rang up and doesn't know what he's paying for. <laughs> Two in a row. How to answer Fairly the question? Standard. Yeah, they've been terrible. Those guys. <laughs> Hello, Rob. Lift your game, boys. Hello, I did buy into the figurine. I didn't think I would figurine. So, okay, so I reckon it's about the setting. So figurine, it's a private setting. Something... Um, private? Yeah, yeah. You can't have a private statue. A statue a private, is a, a private, public setting. A private no, figurine. you can have a private statue <laughs> a pri- in your garden. A private setting. <laughs> if you're in things and ask for a private figurine, I'll be worried about where that figurine's going to be living when you get home. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's going to be in a dark uh, tunnel going, whoa! Uh, no one got some Febreze? No wonder nobody called. <laughs> hey, uh, I got a brand new clue for your uh, missing word. Well, yesterday's wasn't very helpful. I'm just going to put it out there. Look, I just read what I'm given, mate. He bought it on eBay. Yeah, mm. like... Yeah. That yeah. is not true, Ross. Yeah. You write yeah. down these... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. make you them do. up. Yeah, we okay. bought Sean on eBay. <laughs> <laughs>
Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.